Today I'll be showing you how to make your own homemade batarang. You can go ahead and print it just as the way you like. After printing, let's go to the cutting station. Get yourself a box or a cardboard that you can cut that you can shape the batarang into. The batarang cut out fit into the cardboard perfectly. After uh, gluing it or taping it, because I don't have glue, you will have to cut it into uh, the cardboard. You will to cut the obvious parts first and then go into little, more little details. It's done at least half of it. So now you're gonna just wanna peel this thing off. See? Symmetrical. I did some mistakes here and there, but okay, I think overall it's good. So let's take this off. Well, it's actually kinda cool. <laughs> Thumbnail, kidding, it's not. Just take off these and let's go to the painting station. Let's paint this thing. After painting it, you could, uh, of course, the Batman uh, Batarang is in perfect. I actually use pen here. I mean, uh, I use pen ink to give it that kind of metal y look. Because, of course, Batman's Batarang is not perfect, so we're gonna scuff it up a bit. But kind of really looks cool right now. I can literally just show it but of course it's not perfect so let's scuff it up a bit it's finally time to scuff it up let's go we can just add some lines here after cutting the lines as you can see I've scuffed it up you see some damaged lines of the battering you can go ahead and try to trace this a bit using pencil let's scuff it up a bit again so that it shows the highlight of where the scuffing happens. But it's totally fine if you don't want to do this. I just like it better like this. Or not. This is done now. Our batarang is done. That's our homemade batarang. And you can also do it in other colors such as green. <laughs> this is just an aqua batman. But yeah, this could work too. But this sucks so I like this design better. But alright, let's use our batarang.